dear learner in this course we will teach you that how we can create this model okay first of all because uh, if we go for a complex project at the time of starting and if you are new in that software then maybe it will be very confusing for you so what i can do that first of all i will show about that simple project okay and how we have created that project and then we'll go for a complex project so that first of all you can understand every tools of that software and how this software work and when you are completely clear about that software or when you are able to do some basic tools or you are able to do some basic tasks then we'll go for a complex complex i mean complex project so uh, here is the floor plan of that 3d view and uh, we have created that floor plan with revit also we'll create that floor plan in revit and then uh, here is our another floor okay so there are some difference between two floor and uh, if we go here this is our font view of that structure and this is the uh, section view okay section view of our structure now what we'll do we will create that project in revit completely okay so to create the project first of all what we have to do we have to provide that s3 level it's very very important then i mean how we'll provide our s3 level perfectly it's really very very important because if you do not provide or if you do not uh provide that s3 level at the beginning of beginning of your work then it will be very difficult to change it later because if you change any grid uh, level or any s3 level then everything will change but uh, when we'll set everything uh, or when we'll draw everything perfectly and if you change anything then it will be very uh, confusing or it will be very uh, difficult for us to complete our task so what we'll do now we'll uh, create our s2 level it's very very important to start a project so uh, in that project here in that project what i have done if i just come here this is our base level okay i mean our ground floor level or ground level then this is our ground level or plane level or first level here then uh, this is our sl means str level one then here level two that means our second floor then sl2 i mean str level two str level three and here floor level two then roof and then terrace okay so now i'll go one by one for that now i'll go to software revit software and as previous we have started our software you can see here uh, you can see they have some default values or default floor plans available but we'll not use that so to do that what we'll do i'll just go here uh, you can click any of it as per requirement but i'll just click here for east or something you see here we can see only foundation first floor second floor and roof are available here and another levels are not available here again if i go here for north so here basement then top basement uh, different different values are available here then if we go for south here also if we go for west here also what i'll do i'll delete i'll select and i'll delete them okay now see here nothing is available nothing is available i'll close now i'll click here level okay i'll click here for level otherwise you can press ctrl z and only by taking our foundation level we can delete others just see here if we just go here only that foundation level will be visible in floor plan okay uh, in floor plan uh, here in foundation are all several but here i'll delete that one also delete basement will regenerate or will create it again as per our requirement done then right click delete so done everything we have deleted just only foundation are available here and also from here delete them here foundation is available 
invest okay none so everywhere in everywhere we have deleted our floor level so only foundation level is available for every section now what we'll do first of all what will be our floor level no need to define foundation level at this time in our next project we'll go for it i'll just click here and i'll provide that name is ground level okay so first of all i'll provide ground level and i'll provide yes so this is ground level and uh, where our ground level will be i'll consider our ground level will be in zero okay our ground level will be in zero because uh, if we consider our ground level as a zero then from ground level or from our formation ground level we'll be able to create the minus value for foundation or any other value so i will take it zero feet and zero inch then enter so it will be zero feet and zero inch okay now we'll take copy of it otherwise if you go in a structure form then you will see the grid level or in architectural field or section you will see grid le uh, level here okay, so as we are working for architectural work we will go for it level i'll just again click here now in grid level they have many options make plan view then here plan view type if you click here where you want to place that i mean level so if you select only floor plan then uh, it will be uh, go for only uh, ceiling or structural it will not come in floor plan so i'll select all and then we'll click okay i'm i'm cancelling because already selected now here offset where you want to create or how you want to use that offset okay so when everything is okay when everything is okay i will just uh just see here it's showing the value of uh, eight feet zero feet or something so how we can do it or how we can provide that height as per our requirement just simply if you come here and suppose if we click here and if we move then it will create a line after 10 feet or something so i'll escape it i'll go for zero then i will take a line with respect to that point here so with respect to that point okay and i'll close it and if i click here now i'm able to modify that height so how how much height we need actually i'll just go to here and from here to here our ground floor height is one feet and six inch because th this is one feet and with on fit or on uh, with that on fit if we sum one feet six inch then it will be two feet six inch so our first ground floor or ground floor will be two feet six inch because if you come here see uh, if you come here or uh, if you come to that section from here we have started and uh, we have provided here yeah, two steps to come on that floor then we have we'll go here because in that zone we need more clear height to enter in that house that's why we have pro from here we'll uh, cover that from that point to that point from that point to that point this height will be total seven feet okay and it will be very clear to you because uh, we, we didn't provide any gate or anything here that's it's looking like that okay now so what will be that height one feet and six inch enter just see it's here and i'll provide this name ground floor enter yes done after come after doing our ground floor now we'll go for our next step so uh from ground floor our next floor will be 10 feet i'll just click a level then what i can do that i will click here copy i'll select i'll select that one 
then i'll click here copy and uh, i'll copy this one here in 10 feet otherwise you can provide here 10 then enter again go here with 10 then enter this is our first floor second floor and i'll go here this is your first level second level and we'll go for rows and then we'll go for terrace so our terrace was eight feet here we'll go for 10 and then we'll go for eight Done. now i can provide here this is your first floor first floor then we'll go for second second floor then we'll go for roof then we'll go for terrace clear now we have provided our all floor level Okay. now what we'll do we'll go for our next level this this is known as our staircase level because when we'll provide a staircase just see here we need to provide that level so that we can work very perfectly okay. if we provide that level then we'll be able to work perfectly otherwise uh we'll without providing that level we are also able to work but it will be very difficult so i'll provide that level and uh, that level will be seven feet seven feet from bottom or uh, five feet six inches from our ground level so again i'll just come here copy i'll skip i'll select that one i'll click here copy and i'll take a copy of it five feet and six inches just see here and if you click here you'll see this is 5 feet 6 inches and this is 4 feet 6 inches done and from here it will be at middle so why we have provided that value in 5 feet because we need a 7 feet clear height 7 feet clear height here just see 7 feet clear height now again i'll click on it sorry i'll select then i'll click on it and if i just come here i'll provide here five that enter and for that one 10 and for that level name will be ssl a staircase landing level one or uh, sorry it will be two that one will be i'll move it here a staircase landing level sjs ll one and this one will be ssl3 ssl3 clear so this is the way to create our uh, grid level now when we're working and if you see that this level is uh, beyond your work or this is a uh, little bit uh, smaller th than your work then what you can do if you just click here and if you move it just see all of your grid will move at a time but if you need to move on the that one okay if you need to move on the that one just click here and click just see it will only this grid will move same as for that side and uh, sometimes we need to uh, move our that bubble in several directions then simply click here and you can move your bubble as per your requirement and if you need to move your bubble in any direction here just uncheck it and move your bubble anywhere anywhere you need to move here or if you click here and if you just move it here just see in this way you are able to do it i'll just ctrl z it 
no need to do anything for that settles uh, done so this is the way to uh, customize our all level or anything so you now we have perfectly done everything and just if we go here see if we go um north view see and south view so everything is visible here and from our next lecture we learn something new and uh, after learning every basic tools of that software we'll go for modeling thank you thank you very much